Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about the uh, certification course called RHCSA which stands for Red Hat Certified System Administrator and uh, we are in the first uh, category of understanding and using essential tools. As part of that we will see how to create and edit text files using both command line as well as uh, uh, the, uh, the graphical interface or graphical user interface. So first I logged into the virtual box uh, using the user which I you have used to set up this Red Hat 7 and here if you want to uh, create the files using uh, graphical in user interface let me see if there is something wrong uh, okay yeah let me close this and uh, now you can go to uh, applications and here you, you can see as part of uh, accessories there is the editor called gedit and you can uh, actually try uh, this one to act, uh, type and save which will save uh, uh, the content of, uh, of these files in, uh, in text file format. So here you can say and then click on save it will go to save as when you try to save it for the first time you can choose the location in this case i want to save it to my home directory which is home itversity so this is my home directory and here i just want to save it as alphabets And now, if you if I want to uh, get the file from the command prompt, I can do so by going to Applications, Favorites, Terminal, and uh, if I do ls minus ltr, you can we can see alphabets uh, file here, and we can say cat alphabets, and we can see the contents of that file. So using gedit, you can actually uh, create the text files and you can do that using even the uh, command prompt so there are multiple ways to to uh, to create files in command prompt the most basic way is to use the touch command so you can uh, say touch command you can give a new file name i am giving the file name as new underscore file and uh, what it will do is it will create a empty file uh, with uh, size 0 with that file name and typically the touch will be used uh, uh, to create files uh, as markers as part of the uh, application development uh, but touch is one way where you can use to actually create empty files or you can update the metadata of, of the file for example in this case we have alphabets which is created a couple of minutes back if i do touch alphabets and hit enter and then ls minus ltr you can see that the timestamp is changed uh, for that file so touch can be used either to create an, a, a new empty file or to update the timestamp um, uh, for the file uh, we can use the touch command and then we can uh, open the files using uh, multiple editors there is an editor called nano and you can give the file name and hit enter and uh, the file will open in the nano editor and here you can start typing and you can use keyboards and if you want to save it just uh, uh, follow the commands at the bottom uh, uh, for exit it's control x so if you hit control x it will ask whether to save it or not if you say yes uh, if you say y it will be yes and uh, it will be written no i don't want to save it using a different name okay so i will be using nano uh, alphabets only now if i open the alphabets again we can see in, uh, the new lines as well and if you want to add more you can do that Control x to save just type y and uh, here the file name uh, which will be used to write it the one which we have opened which is alphabets and hit enter 
and now you can read the contents using alphabets also uh, using cat command also and you can actually uh, emit the uh, uh, contents of that file on standard out using this cat command and uh, also there is a editor called uh, VI or VAM uh, VAM is little bit advanced to VI uh, VI is the most basic uh, and uh, highly popular Unix based editor which is very powerful it has uh, many features uh, that can be done using command uh, using uh, keyboard commands um, and uh, I will try to cover uh, VA in detail as part of uh, another video but we can use either VA editor or VA editor also to open and edit these files so use VM in this case and uh, here you have to uh, use um, uh, so there are two modes one is command mode or escape mode and the insert mode or append mode so if you type i so by default the you, you will enter into the file in command mode or escape mode in the escape mode if you type j or k it will move uh, forward one line or move backward and the uh, one line so k for moving backward one line and j for move forward one line if you convert from command mode to insert or append mode you can either give i or a in this case i hit i and it will it it has uh, uh, changed the mode to insert mode and i can start typing okay and then if you hit escape the insert is gone at the bottom and the uh, editor has gone to command mode or escape mode and now we can give colon and wq to write and quit and hit enter and now you can say cat alphabets and hit enter you you can see uh, new lines added when after opening the file with vm editor and converting to insert mode so the bottom line of this video is to primarily introduce different editors the g edit using uh, graphical user interface the nano editor va editor and vam editor uh, to create the files uh, or modify the files and also use the touch command to create the empty files or update the metadata so make sure you are familiar with all these editors um, and uh, at the time of certification probably they might ask uh, an exercise where you need to edit the text files using command prompt or um, uh, graphical user interface you should be familiar with uh, at least one command line tool such as nano or va no need to learn all of them nano va or vam editor is fine and also if they provide the graphical interface make sure you have gedit or some other uh, uh, graphical interface tool to edit the files okay that being said uh, that's it for now i will try to cover va editor because it's very important and highly powerful as part of uh, uh, another set of videos for now that is it as part of creating and editing the text files that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video and if you uh, uh, want to discuss further about uh, certifications uh, please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certifications and uh, finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye